On today's China Uncensored, China's star anchor yanked off the air and arrested. Hello and welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your star anchor, Chris Chappell. Now take it from me, people. Being a star anchor isn't easy. Stocking up on hairspray, waving to mobs of adoring fans, basically being kind of a big deal. As an example of <clears throat> my star power, I was once recognized by the owner of a Chinese restaurant that one of my viewers was eating at in the Netherlands, and I wasn't even there. So as a fellow star anchor, I sympathize with the plight of Roy Chungang. Roy is the face of state-run CCTV's financial news channel. He hosts its flagship show, Economic News. But he's a celebrity in his own right, having shot to fame in 2007 after leading a successful campaign to get Starbucks kicked out of the Forbidden City. I mean, it is the Forbidden City, after all. More than 10 million people watch his show each night, and he has more than 10 million followers on Weibo, making him the most popular state-run media personality on social media. His fans even call him the face of the new China. And he also speaks fluent English, so he gets to conduct the big interviews with Western officials and CEOs, people like Bill Gates and Bill Clinton. Rui is also controversial. He's known for being fiercely nationalistic, and he pulls stunts that make him look like, well, a huge flaming jerk. At a press conference in South Korea in 2010, President Obama tried to give the last question to a South Korean journalist. But Roy stood up and said, I'm actually Chinese, but I think I get to represent the entire Asia, and launched into his question. A year later, at the World Economic Forum in Dalian, he said to then U.S. Ambassador Gary Locke that he had heard Locke flew economy class to the conference. Roy then asked whether that was a reminder that the U.S. owes China money. Locke replied that it was U.S. government policy for officials to fly economy. Stay classy, Gary Locke. Well, Roy sounds like an all-around great guy, but bad things happen to good people. Two weeks ago, Roy's show broadcast in its normal time slot, but Roy wasn't there. His co-host, Xie Yingying, sat next to an empty chair. And since the Chinese government banned propagating feudal superstitions on TV, we know that there probably wasn't a ghost sitting there. And even if there were, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. But news soon spread that Roy had been detained by prosecutors less than an hour before his show. The reason? Corruption. Gosh, there's a lot of that going around these days. Last month's Xi Jinping's ongoing anti-corruption campaign caught Roy's mentor at CCTV, Guo Jinxi, who was the head of its financial news channel. Guo was rumored to have made more than $300 million from bribes. Sabre Media have said that Roy's case is closely linked to Guo's. And Roy has problems of his own relating to a public relations company he founded called Pegasus. I guess they read Greek mythology in China, too. Rumors are that Roy used his influential position as a news anchor to charge fees for praising companies or hush money for not investigating or criticizing companies. That's a great idea. Not that I would ever do that. Pegasus was later bought by the U.S. PR firm Edelman. But this type of bribery is fairly common in media companies in China, and for many reporters, this would be business as usual. So then, why is Roy really being investigated? As with so many things that involve the Communist Party, the answer lies in Roy's political connections. Roy's mentor, Guo Jinxi, has ties to Li Dongshen. Li was the former deputy minister of public security and former head of the Gestapo-like 610 office responsible for persecuting Falun Gong practitioners. He was detained and removed from office last December. Before going into public security, Li was a top official at CCTV. And only in China would a career in media lead to top-ranking public security positions. Li was also a crony of this guy. Remember him? Joe Yong Kong, the former security czar who's been under investigation for months now. Apparently, all corruption investigations lead back to Joe. For more on that, check out these episodes. Rui also reportedly had close connections with several children of top leaders, such as the daughter of former Premier Li Peng, the daughter of former propaganda chief Li Changchun, the son of formerly totally not elected Vice President Zheng Qinghong, and most famous for us in the West, Bo Gua Gua, son of disgraced official Bo Xilai, and driver of red Ferraris. What's notable about this list is that most of these officials either already are in trouble or very possibly will be soon. 
As Roy said in his two autobiographies, it's important to have connections in China. It just looks like he picked the wrong team. Here's some advice, Roy. Choose your friends wisely. Also, if you're going to take bribes for your editorial coverage, don't do it through your own PR firm. Do it through your friend's company. Theoretically, I mean. Thanks for watching this episode of China Unsets. Hey, Jimmy, what are all these people doing in here? What are you talking about? I'm not going with anyone. You'll never take me alive.